These tiny, translucent fish are called delta smelt, and they only live one place in the world, the San Francisco estuary, mostly in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. But in a few years, you might only see them in a place like this. The delta smelt has gone from being one of the more abundant fish in the delta to being just on, on the verge of extinction. Peter Moyle is a retired professor of fish biology at UC Davis, and he's been studying delta smelt for over 40 years. In the 1980s, he began to see a startling drop in the number of delta smelt in population samples, and it's only gotten worse. By every measurement you can make, it's an endangered species. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife's Fall Midwater Trawl Survey keeps tabs on fish populations in the San Francisco estuary. Last year, the survey turned up zero delta smelt in the wild. Here at the UC Davis Fish Culture and Conservation Lab near Tracy, researchers are keeping the delta smelt alive in what might one day be the only way possible, in captivity. There are a number of factors pushing the delta smelt toward extinction. Predators feeding on them, loss of habitat, contaminants coming in. Delta smelt to some degree are getting it from all directions. While it's impossible to point to one thing as the cause of the delta smelt's decline, one notable problem is that its home is an important source of water for the state. There's over 2,000 water diversions in the delta. It's the hub for about 25 million people's water supply. Pumps move fresh water from the delta to cities and farms across California. They also sometimes move delta smelt out of their homes and into the aqueducts where they can't survive. Pumping restrictions go into effect during certain times of the year to prevent these losses and to protect the environmental health of the delta. When delta smelt populations are in bad shape, it makes it harder to distribute water to the people of California. Delta smelt have historically been used as what's called an indicator species, meaning scientists could gauge the overall health of the estuary based on how well the delta smelt were doing. And by the time a species like the delta smelt is endangered, it's probably not a good indicator of your system anymore. While the state is working to preserve the delta as a viable source of fresh water and restore natural habitats, it may be too little too late for delta smelt and other native species. The long fin smelt, the sacramental split tail, the salmon, all these species are also in trouble out there. The delta smelt's disappearance doesn't mean that the delta will collapse, but it is a sign that the delta that people enjoy for boating, bird watching, and fishing is an ecosystem in danger, but parts of it can still be salvaged. What do we want that ecosystem to be like? Do we want it to be full of, with all the channels choked with weeds, and you, the main fisheries are for catfish and bass that you can catch back in the eastern United States? Or do we want it to have a system where there's more flowing water, where the water is cooler, where it supports salmon and delta smelt and a whole array of other of species that only provide the direct benefit to people, but also are part of our natural heritage? <laughs>